it's burnley.co.uk and we're here at the Woodland Spa in Burnley which has had a total of £24 million invested into it. I'm here to meet the Managing Director of the Crowwood Group, Andrew Brown, who's about to give us a World Media exclusive tour of this incredible facility. He's going to walk us around the entire facility and I'm excited to bring you along with me. We've obviously retained the original spa. The concept of this was to add to that but make it completely seamless so that when you walk from one to the other you don't feel like you're walking from a new facility to an old facility or vice versa. So we've actually refurbished quite a lot of the original facility as well. The old adage that we have really is space is luxury. So we've tried to make it as spacious as we possibly can. This combines our retail space with our reception. When we're in full flow, we have five receptionists on here. May I ask who did the design? The design is absolutely impeccable. It was a joint venture, to be honest, between uh, our architects, who are Ica from Glasgow, and we also engaged them to do the interior design. But we had a lot of input to that, our, our management team. People of visitors before will recognise this probably as what was the reception area. Change rooms are still on the same side, although we've made the female change room twice as big now. We've got in here the salt steam room, the sauna, and the traditional steam room. Like the new facility, this has all got underfloor heating, so it's not cold on your feet at all. Biggest draw for us really is our outdoor spaces and the hot tubs particularly. So people have been with us before and, and other guests who've been to spas will love these hot tubs that we've got down here. This is Karen Ashworth, our spa manager. Hi. Karen's had a massive influence in this because she's been our spa manager for yeah, 23 nice. years. <laughs> a lot of the design concepts have been influenced by Karen and, and the rest of the management team. Mm -hmm. These are all heated lounges. Now this looks an interesting room. This is an ice interesting room. Yeah, this is the ice lounge. So what we have in here is a, a, a very cold room and that's an ice fountain. So uh, one of the, the benefits of the spa is you get the heat and cold, it's very good for your skin, your circulation, all the rest of it. But this must really take people by surprise when they see something of this standard in a, a relatively small borough of East Lancashire. The original spa, of course, won Best Spa in the World four times. People are very, very impressed with it and, uh, yeah, amazed, really. Probably be a better <laughs> description, so. And am I right in saying it is the UK's largest spa? We think it is. Um, I, I, we don't know of anyone who's got uh, a broader facility than this or probably more visitors per day. Could you have ever imagined a result like this when you were in the thick of it with your hard hat on and all the challenges I'm sure that come with a complex project like this while you have a, a live site still in operation? Mm. I think that was the, the biggest challenge to be honest, keeping the existing facility open for as long as we could. We had to do that for financial reasons. but. Uh, we have had a 10 week closure to stitch the two together. More yet to there's see. more, there's more, yeah, follow me. This has had as much input and as much importance in the design and development as all the customer facing facilities because this is absolutely key to what we deliver. So the investment in this kitchen, just in equipment, is 1.3 million pounds. We're looking at capacity in this kitchen of serving possibly uh, in excess of 600 meals a day on a busy day. So obviously there's been £24 million in total invested in the spa. There may be concerns by some people that that might price them out of coming to somewhere that they've been loyal customer for years. What are your thoughts about that? We don't think uh, we will price anybody out of it, quite the reverse actually, because we need more customers because it's a bigger facility. What, what we try and do is, is keep it what we term affordable luxury. One of the, the USPs for us is the fact that people can stay all day uh, and that's that's fairly unusual actually for spas you, you're often time limited it's a place where people come to relax it's that's that's what it's all about it's very luxurious but it doesn't feel exclusive in that you only want a certain type of customer here no everyone's welcome everybody's welcome we get a lot of uh, small groups of people uh, we won't take a booking for more than eight uh, because we don't want to uh, to turn it into a literally a beer garden so we don't encourage excessive drinking or partying or anything like that. People can have a drink here, we're fully licensed. We get a lot of mother and daughters come in, uh, different multi-generations, etc. So yeah, everyone's welcome and it's, it's a very friendly, relaxed atmosphere, I think. And it could be said that 
you're doing a lot to promote Burnley and obviously bringing people who perhaps have never been to Burnley before into the borough. I'm guessing you're proud that you've got your business in Burnley and built it up here. We are. I'm, I'm extremely proud of the town. I think it's doing extremely well. Uh, the last uh, 20 years have seen a massive, massive change uh, in Burnley's fortunes and uh, I think it's going from strength to strength. And you must have quite the vision to originally establish the resort many years ago and you must have had confidence that Burnley had something special about it. It just needed to realise its potential. Exactly, yeah. Um, there's a lot of people working very hard for the town, aren't there? How important is it for you to be part of the Burnley bondholders and the wider business community? The bondholders has been, I think, fantastic for Burnley. Um, it brings together not just businesses, it bring, brings government agencies together, charities and, and various other stakeholders. Uh, have all got the, the same uh, objective, which is to paint Burnley in a positive light. Um, and work together, you know, for the for the good of the town. So, yeah, the bondholders is fantastic, and we will always support the bondholders through, you know, if it's special rates for their businesses at the hotel, or you know, showing people round. We're, we're always happy to do that. So you recently hosted here the Burnley Business Awards, which saw 600 people. I'm right in thinking it was probably the largest event you've ever done. It ran incredibly smoothly. How important was it for you to kind of showcase the size of events that your team could do? Yeah, it, it was a test for us. Uh, we, we're lucky we have very extensive gardens at the back of the hotel, which again is a facility when people come and visit us. We've got a, a 50 acre private deer park and wildlife sanctuary, which we, we keep developing. Luckily, we've got the space to put the marquee up. Yeah, 600 people with a three course hot meal was a challenge, but I think we pulled it off very, very well, actually. Uh, I don't take any credit for it myself, but our team handled it extremely well. What percentage of your team come from Burnley and the surrounding area? I would say at least 95% of people who work for us are local. When I say local, within probably five or six miles and when we get this facility up to speed and we'll reopen Bertram's restaurant I think we'll be employing 400 people. As you know at the hotel we've got a very flexible uh, banqueting space which we can take probably 370 for a sit-down meal. In fact we've done that in the past um, with extensive gardens, outside patios, wedding pagodas, um, lots of photography opportunities and all the rest of it. So we, we do all sorts of different corporate events at the hotel and, and obviously the spa, uh, which in the past has always been absolutely chock a -bot, fully booked weeks in advance. We think we've got some elbow room now, so for corporate visitors they can actually use the spa, which many have been <laughs> frustrated with in the past that they've not been able to get in. So, yeah. And I guess that works for hotel guests as well, being able to enjoy the facilities. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Do you find that you get a lot of business customers from outside of Burnley who want to take advantage of the flexible space that you have here? I think most of the corporate events we do were for people from out of town. Uh, and that's true of the weddings as well. Um, we probably average between 90 and 100 weddings a year. Uh, and I would say the majority of them are people who aren't local. And why do you think you have that reach? Why, do you, why are people choosing to come to a place perhaps they've never been to before for their special day? I'd like to think it's reputation. Uh, one thing we do, I believe, very, very well is food. Um, we've got lots of dining options and we, we pride ourselves on the quality of the food. And, it, and it, it's another thing that sets the spa apart from the competition. This is not a health farm. We, we don't make any uh, ex, uh, excuses or apologies for that. So some people seem to think a spa is where you, you go and uh, get beaten with birch twigs and you have a glass of carrot juice and a lettuce leaf for your lunch. We don't do that. This is a luxury experience uh, where people can come and do exactly what they like. And if they want to have a burger and chips for their lunch, then that's what they're having. If they want a nice sea bass or they want a risotto or a spaghetti, you know, we, we can do that. We can do whatever they want. Uh, they can have a fillet steak if they wish. How wide a range of treatments are available here? A lot of the treatments we do are massage and facials. They're, they're the two principal ones we do. But within that, 
there are obviously lots of different types of massages, lots of different types of facials. So again, it's all on our, our website, all those different options. And, and our staff can talk through with clients. They're all trained on, on how to explain all those different options. Well, what an absolute privilege that was to be taken on an exclusive tour by Andrew Brown in yet another jewel in Burnley's crown. And so Burnley.co.uk would like to thank Andrew and his incredible team and wish them all the best. We're sure it's going to be a huge success. <laughs>